Alright guys, today's video is going to be how to fix the rare push notification problem you may be experiencing with your Apple devices. Before we get started, there's a few things I want to talk about though. So one, as I said earlier, this is a rare pub push notification problem. You usually don't have to change your default DNS providers in, or in order to fix push notifications for your Apple devices. But if you have an iPad and push notification still isn't working and then more than likely this is your problem and so this kind of stretches into the next thing I need to talk about so jailbroken iPhones should be activated and they should have valid certificates now me I have a jailbroken Verizon iPhone 4 but I don't have a Verizon plan so with that being said I don't think being jailbroken and not activated is an actual problem they say that jailbreaking your iPhone un unvalidates the certificates or something like that or at least this must be old because this I didn't have this issue with my jailbroken Verizon iPhone not being activated so of course if you still want to check into that you know they got a bunch of guys online just you know Google how to uh, activate your jailbroken iPhone with the Cydia app Sam they will explain everything you need to know about the push notifications and whatnot. And so, lastly, know how to access your router. Now, with me using Windows 7, there's an easy way for me to get to my router without having to know the IP address. So make sure you have the info you need to access your router, which is, of course, its IP address, the username and password of the router. This is for the technical savvy, so, you know, let's get started. So of course, you know, open up your control panel, network and internet, view network computers and devices, and you should see a list of devices on your network. And the one you want to click on is your actual router's model number. As you can see right here, mine is this right here, I have a Netgear router. So you're going to right click it and view, view the device webpage. Now, for anybody who has a, a Netgear router, you should be able to just open up your web browser and type in the www.routerlogon.net and it should automatically connect to your router. So you still don't have no IP address. So of course, for any other router, which I'm not too familiar with, you know, you still need to know how to get into your router. Always look into your documentations and stuff. So for my router, gotta put in the information here. All right. So now this is all like I said, you got to look into your router's documentation. Cuz for me under my basic settings, I can just go right here where it says the name domain name server and put these numbers in. Now, your primary DNS should be the these right here, the 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8. And then secondary should be 8.8.4.4. This is Google's public DNS servers. So, of course, I'm pretty sure there's other servers you you could use. I use Google's because I feel as though they're more reliable. So after you put these numbers in, just apply. You know, wait for your router to restart or whatnot, and there you go. You should be good. And so. One of the things you should probably use to check to see if push notifications is working is the app called iPusher. Mm, iPusher is free. Just download it on your Apple device, and of course, you know you're going to hit that button. And if you get a pop-up that's saying, you know, of course, you know, yay, push notifications are working, then you're good. Your push notifications work, and you're good to go. And so that, my friends, is the end of the video. And hope it was simple and easy to follow.